the goal everybody tries look into their eyes and you'll see what they know everybody dies a toast to that invincible bunch the dinosaur surviving the crunch let's hear it for the ladies who lunch everybody deep into your mind's eye right now. And I want you to think about your favorite film from the upper, lower, late, mid-1990s. <laughs> starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. <laughs> what movie am I talking about? God damn it. Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> Change. Let can touch us one time and last for a lifetime and never let Cha-cha, starting with the back, ready? Love is when I love you One true time I hold you And never let go Until we, look at me, eye contact, eye contact Everybody hand jive me But so I went to the pharmacia and, uh, you know, I, I was coming back and I've never had any trouble with any cruise line with them. 
you know, what they're gonna read in the box, what the fuck do they care? You know what I mean? So it's, it's not their fault if I did and brought it back into the US, whatever. And this one security guard goes, uh, I need to look in your bag because it looks like you have, you know, like pharmacy bottles. I go, and he looks and calls over like, you know, his boss guy. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell, here we go. And he goes, what is this for? Now, in fairness, I, I did have like five or six hundred uh, <laughs> pills. I had a coupon and they were running a special. Six for five. So I had 12 bottles. Because also Christmas is coming and they were Xanax. And my mother is a rich CFO of a medical company. So no doctor will give her Xanax. So what do you get the woman who has everything? Xanax. So security goes, so what is this for? And uh, I have gout. If you're uh, young and pretty, what gout is, is it's a disease you might get if you're actually too good at enjoying life. Uh, <laughs> and so, but it's also obscure enough that like, airline security and cruise security don't know what the fuck gout is. And I go, I have gout, I have hyperuricemia, it's called gout, and I'm picking up some medica extra medication, because, because I lost mine. <laughs> but then for 12 bottles. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I have to take it 14 times a day. Uh, so TikTok, because I did it. In fact, right now, I really feel like I'm going to do it. Do you mind if I just chew on a few things and put some light in it? This study is just because I'm hot and fat, I just forgot. <laughs> so no, it's, for, it's for gout, it's for, you know, it's for, and uh, so he, he goes, I have to call the ship's doctor, and I'm like, oh, daddy's in trouble now. I'm going to have to ask Papa Camel for a get out of jail free card. <laughs> Although, if any of you know me, going to a Mexican prison is one of my top three fans. <laughs> So he calls the ship's doctor, but the best part is ship's doctors are real doctors, but that are going on like a six month vacation, working vacation. They don't really give a fuck. And I, and I always travel, when I go to a pharmacy, I always make it look good because I take my own prescription bottles with me, you know, in case anyone asks, and I make sure I do them out to make it look, you know. It, I have a whole backstory. I'm like, this is what I do. <laughs> And so the doctor goes, what is the thing? And he reads the name of the Mexican bottle. And the doctor goes, well, I don't know what, the, what, the, what it is here. What does his American bottle say? And you know none of us, whether English is your first or second language, can pronounce what the fuck any of our bodies say. <laughs> so this week, security guard is like, Ego das abino fana. Go fuck yourself a lot. And he goes, and he goes, wait, he goes, he goes, he goes, well, he goes, uh, and he picked a drug in his head, and he goes, oh, it's for depression. And the security guard looks at me and goes, he says it's for depression. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> and he goes, no, you said it was for something called gout. I said, trust me, honey, if you had gout, you'd have depression. <laughs>
Sometimes it hurts instead. 